Chinese authorities build public toilet on demolished mosque. China's war against Xinjiang um, has touched a new low as reports claim that Chinese authorities have built a public toilet on the site of a demolished mosque. The incident took place in the Atush region of Xinjiang, China. The mosque was in the Songtang village uh, and it was demolished in 2018. Two years later, a public toilet now stands in its place. The people of Songtang uh, have toilets at home and the village barely receives tourists. So local says that there is, locals say that there are no need for a public toilet. Reportedly, China has destroyed some 70% of the mosques in Xinjiang. Wait, is this getting attention only because it's uh, the toilet? So, like, apparently the demolishing of the mosques would... It, wait, are they p building the toilets just to be like, ha-ha? Like, is that, like, a method of being, like, uh, on purpose? That's um, what's implied. The, yeah, the it, fact they're thing, inferring that. The sad oh, thing is, that. like, even, even, like, in the comments, many people actually are laughing at this thing yeah Wait, no, really let's, just, before we go to the comments can we actually discuss what uh, what we know if this was on purpose i will highlight the comments though no because you asked uh, why it's getting more popular that's why i said like, oh okay but do you know but Shopham, did you see anywhere in the news if you know like chinese government is like did they just build like toilets on top of a demolished mosque because they need toilets there or were they like they, let's, apparently let's apparently just, they they don't need toilets there. So from what I got from uh, the local people are saying, like everyone has toilets in their homes and there aren't many uh, tourists there. So they don't really need any public toilets. So this is like, this is just so this, to erase the their culture and religion. No, but was it like, was it, they chose toilets on purpose just to like insult the Muslim uh, people? Okay, that's China? something, that's something I don't know. Mm. I don't know how much we can confirm that that was the motivation, right? Mm. Um, but based on the reports from the local community, that is what they are taking away from it. Mm. I think that's fair to say. That's how they're, that's how they're taking it. I think they're taking it like a poke in the eye, you yeah. know, like they're purposely. And it's even worse because it's a toilet. Um, and I mean... On some level, it reminds me of like, you know, taking Jewish headstones and making roads with them and things like that. As a, you're utilizing something, but you're also kind of doing this to somebody at the same time, disrespecting them. I mean, I don't, it's not quite like that, but it, I think that's what the inference is there, from what you're what? like, as you're saying. Do we know if this was like, okay, let's just because we're anti the Chinese government, we need to be careful. Like, was this something that maybe was justified like that to demolish this mosque? Was it in the wrong place? Did they not have, I don't know. Like, I know it's, I know I shouldn't be, um, I don't want to take the Chinese government side and this, but I just want to make sure that we're clear. Like maybe this was one of the rare cases where they were in the right, which Rivka. Actually, uh, actually so like. Oh, were you going to say something? Because I want to... No, I, I was saying, like, this is not just one mosque. Like, China has destroyed 70% of the mosques in the region. So right. you cannot... I don't think, like, all these mosques were in the wrong place, even if that was the case for a couple of them. I and know, that's what I'm saying. Maybe, yeah, go on, Rifka. As to the point about, is it a poke in the eye? I think there's more... We, we don't know, but there's more to the fact that people are inferring this because... In 2019, they destroyed the Asna Mosque, and now they have a store there, and that store sells alcohol as well as cigarettes. Yeah, oh. like, like so this. So it almost seems... One. Let, hold on, Shippam. Yeah, yeah. It Sorry. almost seems like they're, you know, kind of trying. And then um, in another city, they've been trying to build an underwear factory where the mosque oh. is. But, but, you know, this could all just be coincidental because there were a lot of mosques in that region and they took up a lot of space. Right. But at the same time, I mean, a toilet, an alcohol shop, an underwear factory, it, it seems almost, I could see why people might infer right. that. Okay, before we go uh, to Shopham, because, no, Shopham before Susanna, but um, we did get a super chat. 
uh, five Australian dollars. I don't know what this is, but if it is a super chat, so we are uh, contractually obligated to read it. Uh, urge, it says Ben Kelly saying urgent best evidence of danger of religion research John Balhees, aka General Bud Naked. I don't know what this is, but former shaman of the Quran. I don't know what this is, guy. Now and a Christian, I have no idea what this is. But again, it was a super chat. Uh, Shabham, thank you um, for the super chat. <laughs> thank you for the five Australian dollars. Uh, Shabham, you wanted to say something? No, I uh, Ripka just said it like. I think it could be just to like mock them because like the things they are uh, creating uh, on top of the mosque like it's always like toilets, uh, alcohol uh, shops, and underwear factories. So it looks like they are trying to mock uh, the people. Mm. Um, Susanna, I found an article from 2016 saying um by radio free asia saying under the quote mosque rectification campaign launched by the chinese central ethnic religious affairs department and overseen by local police the mosques were demolished as a way to sort out dilapidated buildings that allegedly posed a safety threat for worshipers in the uyghur autonomous region so that's the official party line is that right. this is um basically like a building code situation mm. as the um, reason for demolishment. What they build on top of it in, instead is a different matter. I mean, given the number of mosques that the, and churches they destroyed, wouldn't it be surprising that some of them end up don't being end up toilets or, you know, I, I mean, number wise, right. like somebody, yeah, I mean, it would be weird if none of them, so maybe they're not doing it on purpose, but it's like they're destroying hundreds, like how many, how many of them? I don't know, like a huge number of them, right? So it might be not on purpose that they're trying to be trolling the Muslims. It might be just, I mean, given all the things that you could build on top of it after, of course, some of them are going to end up being toilets or something. Which is what I said. It could just be a coincidence yeah. that those yeah. are the ones that people are seizing on because they feel rightly, you know, discriminated against. But the toilet or the alcohol shop may not have anything to do with that. I don't know. Yeah, it's um, complicated. This article in 2016 says that within the span of three months in 2016, they destroyed... 5,000 mosques. Um, that was four years ago. Um, there right. was a comment in the live chat that said from Roger Santos saying China is the future atheists want. I don't know if that's pro-China or anti-atheist. I would just like I've... to say for the record, speaking for myself, and I think I speak for everyone here, saying that mm -hmm. I do not support and do not believe in coer coercive secularism, right? We want secularism where people are able to believe freely and enforced atheism that is not real secularism. Mm. I do not believe in coercing people through state surveillance, for example, as in the case of China and authoritarianism right. into non-belief. Under no circumstances, I categorically condemn that. Okay. Virtue. Anyways, yes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, <laughs> it's worth saying. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Ronald is saying, don't you agree that the issue, if there is any, is that they demolished the mosque in the first place? What kind of building would not be taken as of, what kind of building would not be taken as offended on the Rick? So, I get, but yeah, but this is, the interesting thing is that they, they destroyed like so many mosques, but only like this one is getting a lot more attention, not because because of the toilet situation, not because of the, which is weird. I mean, I agree. Like people should be worried about them all, all you know, all of them. I am hearing some background noise, guys. If you're not speaking, please make sure you're muting your microphone. Um, and, but again, um, we here's the thing. I'm we're not exactly certain if this is one of those rare cases that maybe. Uh, because we can't trust the Chinese government if they say, oh, we had the legitimate reason for destroying this mosque. Um, obviously, we're not going to take their word for it, given their credibility on any of this stuff. Uh, we're just doing Occam's Razor. This could be one of those rare cases where the Chinese government had a legitimate reason for demolishing a mosque. But given the number, but given the number of mosques they destroy for no good reason at all, um, we could just use Occam's razor and assume that this is another 
um, case of discrimination against Muslims in China, right? I think it's a safe, it's a very, very safe, not certain, nothing is certain, but it's a very safe bet. I'm going to share some of the comments with you guys. So, And yeah. by the way, I don't think you're being an apologist for the regime, Armin. You are demonstrating a healthy dose of skepticism. Oh, thank you. Um, Aquin is saying... <laughs> Yeah, Aquin is saying I'm a, I'm an atheist, but I'm against this crap. Those buildings should be left untouched. They have a significant historical value. I mean, if they if even if they didn't, it's like it's against people's right to practice their religion without government intervention, right? So even if the building had zero zero historical value, uh, this is you know discrimination against a group of people, right? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me zoom in because maybe you guys can't see these comments. Right? I don't know. Um, Nico is saying, let's not jump to conclusion. It's very likely that the Chinese apply eminent domain laws to every structure, including religious ones, unlike uh, we in the West who give them special treatment. It's not... Okay, so we are against giving religions special treatment, but we're also against governments we're against governments giving religion special treatments, for example, like Christianity in the United States or Islam in Islamic countries. But this is not an example of them not getting special treatment. This is them getting an example of getting of Muslims getting special discrimination, right? So just we, we want fair treatment, equal treatment. We don't want them to get have religious people to get privileges because they're religious, but we don't we also don't want them to get discriminated because they're religious. And this is an example of them getting discriminated for being religious. Uh Rivka. I just wanted to make a comment since we're talking about uh the freedom not to believe on this apostasy day. It, the reason we chose today is because it coincides with the UN's day that's in support and commemoration of people who are victims for their beliefs or their religion. And so just as we say that you should be free from violence and discrimination if you don't believe, people who are believers should also be free from violence and discrimination against them. You know, this is freedom of expression for people who believe, even if we think it's ridiculous or even if we don't, we are free to not believe, they're free to believe. And so that's part of what I just want to make sure that there's some understanding. And I know that Armin obviously was not apologizing for China, I don't know who even brought that up. But I right. just wanted to throw that out there since we were talking about apostasy and to you know have it it's not a crime and being a muslim shouldn't be a crime in china those people right. just have a different belief system uh soraya is saying it's happening only about mosque right not any other religious structure no actually soraya they're doing it to churches as well so this should be clear on that um yeah so there was a church that they desecrated recently actually right uh, they also they also want to. Uh, China also is interested, very interested in creating their own version of Christianity and Islam, like a Chinese approved version of Islam and Christianity, which is so <laughs> weird. And China is weird. China is so weird in so many different ways. They um, destroy churches, mosques, but they also destroy like shrines to specific Buddhist monks, like the Dalai Lama, any of that Tibetan. Uh, Buddhist shrines, so they destroy those as well. So right. they have a whole, you know, way of sort of forcing one set of ideas or beliefs, trying mm -hmm. to at least. It's cultural genocide. Right. Yep. Okay. So uh, uh, as as I no, as I was saying like earlier, like there are people in the atheist community in atheist republic community who are like. Oh yeah, show them China. Like destroy the mosques. Uh, uh, religious people shouldn't get any of those. Show those that's Muslims disgusting. what they deserve and stuff like this. And I, I think that's a really horrible mentality to have. So I just want to point that out. Like there are people even in the atheist community who are like mm -hmm. that, and that's just. We call them out. Right. Um. Any other Next. comments? No. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, 
Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos.